What's up guys, welcome back. Six episodes in and we are finally getting to the roll cage install on the race car. So, a roll cage install video. At least that's what I thought I was doing when I first started shooting these videos. And this has turned into a complete build series and just taken on a whole mind of its own. Mostly a part due to my OCD problems as I'm sure you guys have already figured out. You know, what started as just a roll cage has turned into tubbing the back end of the car, modifying the rear strut towers. I told you guys I'm gonna be dropping in a fuel cell soon. I'm also gonna be doing some more sheet metal work in this general vicinity of the car. So you just have to wait and stay tuned for that. But you know, it's really got me to think. I really wish I started this build series a few years ago. You know, more so in early 2014, when I first started doing the major build on the car, I could have shown all the work that went into installing the WRC wide body kit. You know, everything that was involved with designing the brackets and hats for the AP Racing brakes to fit on the car. The custom crash bar slash V-mount setup. And of course, all the work that went on under the hood from the custom WRC front strut towers to the tubs, all the sheet metal work and pretty much everything that went on under the hood here. But I guess it's better late than never, right? So on that note, let's get back to installing a roll cage, finally. So first thing we're gonna do is dig back into this box of instructions and all the gussets and mounting plates. So first thing I gotta do, make sure everything's all laid out. This is probably one of the most important things I need to go over. This gives you some accurate dimensions, exactly how far apart the main hoop needs to go from the front tubes and uh, exactly where the positioning needs to be for the brackets and all that. So, now I need to get the front and rear foot plates out of the box here. So just lay these all out. So everything's all organized, so when I'm ready to weld it all in, I know exactly where to go. Right, so that's everything I should need for now. So now that I've got the three pieces in line back here for the main hoop, I'm gonna use my Sharpie here and I need to outline uh, the first bracket here and then draw a line down here and cut this section out with the plasma cutter and the tube for the main hoop will actually drop down inside and I'll weld around that when we go to install the roll cage. So I got both areas all cut out for where the main hoop's gonna go in. You can see here, everything's all cut up, all cleaned up nicely, so the tube will just slide right into there. I've already actually gone ahead too and removed the main B-pillar roof support and the other two roof supports. And I just wanna real quickly pull out the JDM Spec C roof vent. That way it's not in the way and it doesn't get ruined or anything like that. So I'm gonna pull the roof vent out quickly and we will jump right back into the roll cage. Alright, got the brackets all tacked into place. 
Time to finally put the first piece of the roll cage inside the car, and of course the most important piece, the main hoop. Check this out, main hoops all in, well, tacked in for now. Um, I kind of got a little ahead of myself. I got everything fitting in nicely. Uh, the angle of degrees was perfect, fitting in was perfect, so I thought I'm just gonna tack it in really quick. Uh, so that said, time to move on to the A-bars. Now, I haven't welded the brackets uh, on the front yet, but I'm gonna position the A-bars first, figure out exactly where placement's gonna be, and then weld the brackets in from there. All right, next step. So of course both batteries on my cameras died at the exact same time and I was going in a good flow so I didn't bother stopping so unfortunately you guys didn't get to see the A-bars tacked into place. So this one's in, passenger one's in, everything all fits real nice. Next step is to attach the windscreen bar it's called which connects this point to this point which makes sure that your A-bars are perfectly centered up here. Then I can move on to the bar that connects the A bar to the main hoop from here to here. And then I can work on my X brace, which will come up along the top of the windscreen bar. Cage is finally starting to come together, tacking everything up on the main roof area. Let's jump inside the car and I'll explain to you guys what's going on. So, if you can see all that, you know, this is the main roof brace all tacked in. You've got your front screen bar runs up along the, you know, main roof support up here, and then your A bar to screen bar pieces. And if you noticed, you know, while I was putting all these pieces in, lots and lots of measuring. You know that whole thing, measure twice, cut once? You know, when you're doing something like this, and especially because it's a kit and everything's been pre-cut and pre-notched, like you gotta measure a thousand times just to make sure that everything is perfectly straight, perfectly symmetrical, and you know, you're gonna have no issues with all the pieces fitting. So now that I've got all these pieces all in, everything's all tacked, I'm gonna move on to the A-bar to main hoop connections right here, and then probably jump into the door bars and the uh, dash brace. Started to come along, got the door bars in, main hoop support bars are in, the dash bar going across is all into place. Next thing I need to do is add the A bar support bar, which basically connects the A bar from up here down to the door bar. And when you go to install it, I'll show you with this pile that's finally getting a little bit smaller. So this would be the A bar support bar. And this bar here actually goes in down in, in this spot here and connects to the A bar up here, but you can see it's not lining up because it's hitting the door bar right here in this spot. So what I need to do is notch out right here where it's making contact with the upper door bar, notch that out, and then that brings the door bar in, lines it up with the A bar up here, and then you've got all three points that'll be, all be welded together. 
So I'm gonna get both of these bars welded in and we'll move on to whatever's next. All right, making some good progress here. Got the A bars to door bars all tacked in, up and through here where I had to make the notch. So this is all tacked in nicely, and I even went ahead and tacked in the foot plates on both sides. I didn't record that part, unfortunately, got a little ahead of myself. But now it's time to bust out the plasma cutter again, because I feel like cutting another hole in the car, but a really big hole this time. And what I'm talking about is the spare tire area. So I'm gonna replace this entire panel with a flat piece of sheet metal. And I think the main reason is just the shape of the spare tire area and this being a big, ugly, round hump on the underside of the car probably causes a lot of aerodynamic drag on the underside of the car. So by putting in a flat panel, not only does it you know, reduce the drag from the underside of the car, also gives me easier access to the rear diff, the sway bar, and anything else that I plan to put underneath the car back here in the future. So, time to bust out the plasma cutter and cut this massive hole out. That cut out and as you can see it's a little smoking here I'm gonna vent out the garage and then come right back to it All right guys, so that's gonna do it for me today. Hopefully in the next episode, I'll have everything back from the laser cutter so I can finish off with plating the rear strut towers and then tack in the back half of the roll cage and then weld the entire roll cage in permanently. I still need to finish the spare tire delete panel and I've got a couple other surprises for you guys too. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will see you in the next episode.